We're gonna give you the top drills that you can utilize to improve your weightlifting technique, and we're gonna start right now. All right, so we are here with 2021 senior Pan Am champ in the 49K division, Haley Reichert, and she's going to help us demonstrate some of these different movements that we can utilize, one, to warm up with, but two, to also imprint really, really good technique for weightlifting. And so before we even get into what that technique should be or what those drills are gonna be, we're gonna start with utilizing our dowel rods here that we sell at Garage Strength. You can click on the link down below, go pick one up today, but we're gonna introduce our dowel rods and the bands that we utilize, our power elastic bands, and how you can go about utilizing these together to help optimize that warm up. Okay, so one of the cool things with our dowels that we put together here, and that's courtesy of Jacob Horse, who's also uh, just recently snatched 137 kilos at the Pan Am Champs, is that we've built these dowel rods where they're essentially to the barbell length, and the rings that we have actually mitered out here are right in line with the barbell. So that's something that we like to utilize for warming up so that you know where to put your hand, you know where to put the grip. And then we use the power elastics to increase, you know, if we need a shoulder external rotation, if we wanna put some type of load on the dowel rod without making it too heavy. And then that's gonna take us into directly into some of that specific technique work. And so Haley is going to demonstrate some of the key things that you can do. One, because of on the dowel, you have you know where that ring is, so you have that, that same grip. So Haley's gonna demonstrate some key positions here when we're talking about the snatch. So she's gonna do five reps from the floor to the knee just using that dowel rod, and we've gotta think about pushing those knees back and clearing those knees back off the floor. And then we're gonna go into five reps below the knee, back into the hip, and then we're gonna do five reps from the hip into the snatch. So we're gonna utilize this just having that dowel to imprint that proper technique for the snatch. So Haley, let's, let's see the floor to the knee. Good. And even with something as light as the dowel, she's gonna still be able to feel that hamstring as her knees clear back. She's gonna feel that load. And you want the athlete, when they're doing something simple like this, to really try to be aware of how their body is moving and how they want the bar to stay tight. Now, that's the one key factor here is that the next drill that we're gonna do is we're gonna start from below the knee and we're gonna come up into the hip here. And we want to really feel the knees clear back and then reciprocate forward while the bar is going through no man's land because that's where a lot of people lose that bar, especially in the snatch. And so Haley's gonna try to feel this from below the knee up into the hip, good. And this is actually one thing that we're really trying to work on with Haley right now is utilizing a drill like this in her warm up so that she's able to feel better knee movement as she gets into the top end weights. And give me, now we'll go from that hip to the catch and just go into like a, a full snatch from the hip. Good, just do three here. Okay, good. So utilize those three exercises with just the dowel and now we're gonna get into a couple more where we're using the power elastics and the dowel rod to help improve your clean and snatch technique. Okay, so the next movement that we're gonna actually get into, so now we've started to instill the knee movement and how to get into the hip and even get into that full snatch. Now we're gonna do two exercises that if you have a beginner lifter or you have somebody that needs to wake up their shoulders and need to feel that position in the catch, you can utilize these two exercises. So Haley's going to demonstrate with the power elastics attached to the dowel rod now. She's gonna do a snatch press in the hole for three to five reps. Give me five reps, how about? And then we'll go three overhead squats. And the whole purpose of utilizing our mobility power elastic band is it's gonna create some tension and it's gonna help the athlete feel that press that they need to have as they get into that catch position in the snatch. So it's a really good warm up, and it's gonna enhance their ability to receive the bar in that deep catch. It's also not, it's not extremely heavy down the bottom. You can see here that the tension comes up at the top and that's gonna help extend those elbows. And then now we'll get into that overhead squat. Okay, perfect. So utilize this if you have an athlete who struggles to press you know, a 15 or 20K bar, we can lighten the load with the mobility band and it's still gonna increase that tension so they know how to light up their shoulders and their triceps together when receiving the snatch 
or even if they just need to warm up in general. Okay, so that next exercise that we're gonna utilize is a movement to help feel what your upper body needs to do in relation to what your knees are doing. So we have that mobility power last expand. Haley's gonna hold the dowel rod, okay? And we're gonna have a little bit of a pull forward and that's gonna create a little bit more tension. So now we wanna see those wrists flex and the lats try and be a little bit more active while she's going from the floor to the knee. And if, if we have somebody who tends to just be too relaxed with their upper body, uh, that bar's gonna stay forward tremendously. We don't wanna be super, super tight where we're bending our elbows tremendously, but what we wanna have is a little bit of action from the wrists and from the lats to help keep that bar tight and to trigger that good knee movement. So Haley's gonna demonstrate, we'll do four here from the floor to the hip. Push those knees forward a little more when the bar passes, yeah. And so you could even attach this to uh, a jerk box. You could attach it to uh, a plate tree. Give me one more. Good. You could have somebody hold it, but any way that you can have a little bit of tension coming forward and then just utilizing this as a good warm up or as a drill after a training session to improve the knee movement and to keep that bar tighter. So the last drill that we're gonna utilize with the Power Elastic Strength Band now and with the dowel rods is that Haley's going to stand on the band. And the whole point here is to try and feel a ton of tension in the hip. So a lot of athletes, when we get into the hip, we'll see, we'll see weightlifters where their chest gets way behind the bar and then it ends up, they jump backwards, they'll miss the snatch forward or they get crashed on by the clean. And so if we can learn how to keep our chest forward while the bar is in our hip and we learn that feeling, that overall general feeling, now we're gonna be able to stay a little bit more vertical on the finish. And so Haley's gonna demonstrate, again, going from below the knee all the way into that hip and keeping that chest forward while utilizing the band. And that tension from the band will be pulling down when she gets into the hip. So it'll mimic what that barbell will actually feel like. So she'll start below the knee where there's no tension. And then as she comes past the knee here, there's gonna be a little bit more tension. And so if you're a little taller, it'll be a little bit easier. Haley's what, five, one? five feet tall. So it's a little bit harder with the band being as long as it is. But if you're dealing with a taller athlete, it's a little bit easier because they're gonna have more tension at the top. So the whole goal behind this would be you can utilize this as that last warm up before you get into that snatch workout. So the whole purpose again is to try to feel the chest forward, feel the knees forward while the heels are pushing down into the floor. And that's gonna create for that more vertical finish. If you need help, you can click on the link down below. You can go to garagestrength.com. You can pick up our dowel rods and our Power Elastic Bands today to help you improve your overall technique for weightlifting. Until next time, guys, peace.